Okay, so we're back and stuff. Now, before we get too involved here, the thing that I wanted to push on to was actually the, um, I didn't like how I was doing all this. So, what I'm thinking about doing is making some more managers for resources that I know players are actually going to need. That. Are like world models and vice versa. I've got no title on Twitch. Twitch. <clears throat> My channel. Do 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 do. Community programming. And what is it going to consist of? Saving and loading. That's what most of the broadcast is going to be about. So. Why would they put a commercial on a broadcast in itself? I have no clue. But anyway, in this outline, we need an outline. See, in every project, I always decide that there's going to be things that we actually need. Project Aligner Okay, and well, wow, that projects oh, Come on, typing This is a project goal goals goals for each part that we need done. This a simple to do list where we can keep ourselves on track. T R A C K. Why does that look wrong? Because I'm used to seeing it with a capital. Comment that way at least. Oh man. Okay. First things first. We spawn a player in after we load data. We may need in the world. Okay, so that's our first goal to show how we can do this. Oh, and I just can't go down to make the player walk walk around and stuff so 
which we can probably already we probably already have code for it, but we should make sure we do things. Three we don't have yet. So what kind of data are we gonna need currently right now? Spawn the player in after we load data. We may need in the world. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is probably going to be our player. Let's just call it our player for now. And we will make a folder designed for nothing but free fabs. I know it's kind of redundant and we got one here, one here. But this is for a totally different thing. And this is for my personal thing right here, so which both can cooperate with each other very easily, you know, like but we're gonna need a player. This is definitely gonna be our player. For now. Okay, so we can delete this. Okay. Now we need centralized game objects for managers and stuff. And the canvas is not what we're going to want for this, nor the event system. I don't like to stuff stuff in here unless I absolutely have to. Now, so we're going to create our own little game object. And we're going to call these World Managers. I could spell. Oh man, my spelling this week. Ugh. Epic. So anything that we need in the world, we're gonna make sure this has it. So we're gonna definitely need us a script. And I don't want to just add it right here because then it puts it wherever it wants or puts it right here, which I don't want this. This is for this kit, so we put it here, okay? It's for this project and this project alone currently right now. All right, so we've got our prefab, our scripts, and we come down here and we will make us a new script and it will be called World Spawn, which is kind of a terrible name, but it'll work. World Spawner. And what World Spawner will do is basically spawn our player into the world. So we're going to have us a open it up. Of course, it will not open it up automatic. That would be too much for. And this will be a mono behavior. And we're definitely going to need. Um, we're going to make this serializable. Because in the Spectre, we want to do this. But anywhere else, it, it would be stupid. And we're going to need a game object player. Let's label it go. Player go time. Okay, and well, there's two ways we can do this. We can have it do a, oh, uh, well, would I want it? Yeah, yeah, that, that would be something we should do. 
this resource folder we are going to nab it out of here and put it in here okay and the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to take this resources folder and we're going to use it okay and how we're going to use it is we're going to leave this blank and we're going to use the start method and well when we're going to use the start method we're going to go player go equals resources dot load it's going to expect a string path and we don't have a string path so we just are going to stuff a public string here okay and this public string is going to be my player fab okay my player fab so whatever we stick in this string is what's going to be instantiated into the world. So we don't have to change this only in our XML file. So if our players go and, you know, want a different model or something, we're going to have that. And this is a, wait, um, resources.load, it takes a string, but which, what's all the other, um, we can do a cache there's several ways you can do this I know there is I'm not crazy I know there is I just can't remember them because I don't use them a whole lot because I'd much rather have a prefab and do it that way than do it this way because there is a significant difference when it comes to resources loading it and instantiating it there is um, why is it why give me resources the list of resource dot load string path and you can do that but yeah yeah you can uh, what that's for a texture oh yeah 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 and yeah, yeah, that's the, the method that I'm thinking about right now. Yeah, yeah. Is because you need it to be this way, you go instantiate. And then you let this be that part. Go for that. And then you basically feed in a vector. What do we want for? each thing are we going to have spawn points are we going to have a, a player spawn point well in any way well if we put yeah we're going to have a public transform public transform because this will make it a lot easier for people start S start position. Okay. Wait. Why is it why is it red like that? There we go. Instantiate and we use that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it takes all those curly braces. Whatever. We'll just copy this. Oh no 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 no. This doesn't give the instantiation work for okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't want this. Um, actually, no, we're going to have to probably use that that way because of we're going to have to use it that way because of 